So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and uh, today I am going to show you how to create maps in Power BI using R. Now, if you don't know what R is, don't worry, I will do this step by step so you will be able to follow along. For those of you that are wondering why would you do that, is uh, for me, it's, uh, I've been working with a, a customer where we have a lot of data points that we need to map on Plora map and uh, we have too many data points for Power BI to be able to visualize them all in one map and when you get to that point the only way to actually visualize everything is using R. So I am going to give you the basics for R map so you will be able to do the same in case you get into trouble like I did. So is it, it is easy once you know how to do it so make sure you follow along. You you will find it useful. Okay, so first of all, uh, do you need to install R in your computer to be able to use it, of course? And I have a video explaining how to do that. So I will post a link in the description box. If you don't want to do that, just search R Power BI Kerbal and you will find it. It's, I think, the only video I have on R so far. I perhaps have another one, but uh, you, you will find it, don't worry. So in this video I actually show you how to install the program and into this video I'll show you the packages that you need to install to be able to do maps. So don't worry, you will be able to follow along. So for this demonstration I am going to use the same sample file I used for the demonstration of shape maps. I have an entire playlist of how to work with maps in Power BI. So if you're new to this, just check it out. I will add these to this playlist as soon as it's ready. But I will be using this file. You will be able to download it on the description box. If you want to know how to create these, just come here. I will put also a link to the playlist so you can follow along on all the maps videos I have. But with that said, let's jump into Power BI and let me show you how to work with our maps. Okay, so here we are in Power BI and I have a data set that contains uh, locations. And uh, I have here latitude and longitude. If you put it into the canvas, Power BI will recognize, okay, this is a map and it will try to plot it. As you can see, there are way, way too many points and this is what you will get. You have too many values. It's not showing all the data. All data. Click um, to see details. So once you start having a lot of data points, Power BI cast also out of the box visualizations. That means the visualizations you have in here will not plot your data, which it's it's not that great. I run into this trouble into this issue. Uh, just recently and the R is actually the only way to fix this. So why not do that? Let's, it's not that difficult at all. It depends on your requirements. I'm going to show you the dot map. I don't know if that's how it's called, but this one. Uh, and uh, it is not that difficult. So the first thing you actually need to do is to start R Studio. So I have it already open, here it is, and what we need to do is we install a package called Maps. So we go install packages, and then I think it was like that, Maps. I already have this installed, it seems like it's installed in again, but... So when everything is done, you get again this... Um, blue stuff. This is the only thing you need to do in our studio. So we can actually close it down and go back to Power BI. So now that we have all the packages we need installed, what we need to do is to click here on the R. And we are going to add the latitude and the longitude in there. The data I have here is the Google Analytics data, I think, for my website perhaps or some website anyhow so here you get the aura script and 
Now we're going to go through what you need to write here to actually visualize a map. So the first thing we do is library maps, we call the library and then we visualize a map, as you can see. So this is the world map because the data that we have here is for the world. There are actually maps for other places like, let's see, we write world Sweden and we run the script and then you get Sweden or world, I guess there is a Spain also. There you have it. Okay. In this case, we just won the world map. So we don't need to write anything else than the map. That is all there is to it. So now that we have this, what we are going to do is we're actually map the points that we have. And for that, we call the data set and then we call our data point, the columns or fields latitude data set and we run it oh sorry longitude Latitude. How about that? Perfect. So now we have our data points mark in the map. As you can see, the visualization like that is actually not great either. Even if it's showing everything, it's just like not so good. So the first thing I want to do is actually to change the color of the dots. And for that, you just write like this, and then you find the color that you like. Let's put... Oi. F2, C8, 0, F. And that will point, as a color my points yellow. The points, I think they are actually too big, you see? So it's actually making everything very difficult to, to position. Everything is like a big dot. So what you can do is actually make those, the size of the points smaller. We are going to put them 0 0.3, for example. And it is getting better, but I think it's still a bit too big. Point one. And now you can actually start to see where the points are located, right? This just starts looking very, very good. Um, now that we have that, I think it would be great to have some contrast on the map. So let's put the color of the lines like that. 45, 6A. 76 and the background color is going to be 37 46 49 of course i don't know this by heart i checked them out beforehand and you need to make sure that you write your color right otherwise you will complain and look at this gorgeous you can go in there and now you can actually start to see a map you can see all the points i think it looks good for the normal look and feel of our visualizations i think this looks great what do you think but anyhow the point is that without this you won't be able to map all your points in a map so now you can do it and you can actually get a quite a good feeling as to 
where these website visitors are. I think it, it just looks gorgeous. What do you think? Have you used maps? Okay, so this is all for today, actually. I really hope you enjoy the maps video. And uh, if you like the video, just let me know by liking it or sharing it. I would really appreciate it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know on the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every week. It's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday for Power Query, Friday for DAX, and Wednesday for whatever my heart feels for, I would say. Uh, if you would like to get notifications for the videos, click the bell, okay? Otherwise, YouTube won't send it to you. Have a great, great evening. Bye.